Some uh, great defense and some great offense happening here today. Our first game kicks off. We've got Brussels Brigands, the Division Three girls semifinal champions. They're also last year's champions, and uh, they bring a lot of international experience. And facing off against them, we've got the Sigonella Jaguars. Uh, they defeated Injurlik to get to the spot today, so hopefully they can um, make a little magic happen here against the Brigands. Now, uh, Sigonella brings a lot of youth to the team. They've got uh, four freshmen coming in and also a few seniors, so they got some experience there as well. But we talked to the Brussels coach, Tim Como, and uh, it sounds like they've got a, a lot of experience in their team as well, a number of seniors, including uh, a few players who've played in higher divisions as well. So we'll see uh, which team brings the experience and uh, looking forward to a good game today. Yeah, the Brigands also have a family connection that's happening with two of the players, and hopefully that connection might help them out. Now, if you're uh, checking out the game, we've got the game airing both on the internet, on AFNEurope.net, and as well on the Pentagon channel. So make sure you guys check that out. You don't want to miss out on the action that's happening today. Uh, like we said, this is a Division Three matchup. It's uh, going to be a very exciting game, very physical game. And stay tuned throughout the day because we've got a number of girls and guys games coming up. Should be an excellent day. I am uh, looking to see if uh, these two teams will play basic ball because I think that's going to be uh, key to a win here. Uh, some good motion, offense, hopefully, and some good defense. The, the use of the zone, I think, is important. Absolutely. And we saw a number of good games yesterday getting into it. And uh, I think that we'll have to see, obviously, some good ball movement from both teams. And uh, we'll see if they can incorporate some uh, you know, up-tempo up defense to uh, kind of switch things up today. Okay. Well... Um, I, for one, uh, am looking at the matchup height-wise, uh, thinking that uh, the Sigonella team has a slight advantage, just a slight advantage. Um, the Brigands, they have a lot of uh, young players, so they may have speed. But like you said, it'll be interesting to see how the, uh, the sister combination of the uh, of uh, Anna Vasileva and Teodora Vasileva, the, uh, the two seniors from Macedonia, we'll see if... Uh, they can, you know, bring that sisterly connection to uh, to play it in this game. All right. Well, make sure that you are streaming or watching the stream at um, vsbiden.afneurope.net or afneurope.net. Afneurope.net or on the Pentagon channel as well. We have it available. And uh, throughout the game, we're going to get some uh, some interviews with some of the players and some of the coaches or in the, the fans from both teams. Uh, we'll have uh, Sergeant Waldrop getting all the, uh, the highlights from that. All right, she'll be down on the down here at court level, getting reactions from the players. On the court right now, the coaches are just kind of discussing between the team captains, with the handshakes, and uh, that sportsmanship going right away. Both teams look eager to get this match started. Now, of course, for these seniors, this will be their last game of the, of the year, or last game of their high school career. So I'm sure these girls want to, you know, won't leave anything out <laughs> off the court. Brussels coach Tim Como giving his players a pep talk. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2014 Basketball Championships featuring. Chris now, if you want to contact us during the game, get a uh, message out to one of the players out there. Our email address is dodsbball2014 at gmail.com. So, make sure you send us an email. We'll mention that a couple times throughout the game if you want to get a message out there to one of the players or to send a shout out to your school. Dodds B Ball 2014 at gmail.com. Number 33, Sydney Moore. Now, from Sigonello, there are two starters that are returning from last season. That's Chelsea Hinton, who's a senior, and Sydney Moore, who's a junior. And uh, the other senior is uh, Heli Gaspora. So, uh, Sydney Moore, who's a junior, averages six points and 12 rebounds a game. And uh, our coach tells us that she's a smart defender who works hard on the boards. And one of our freshmen that's playing really well this year is uh, Katie Cobble. 
who's averaging three steals and ten points per game. Quick and athletic, so it's a bright future from that freshman. Uh, and you know what, that's good because defense is the key to wins because a great defense creates offense. And uh, they have some uh, players that are actually good on the boards because that's something that you don't see a lot in young players is the ability to rebound. And uh, both of these coaches are, are fairly young as well. Uh, the uh, coach for Siganella, uh, Michelle Chandler, it's her second year coaching Siganella. And uh, Coach Como, we talked to earlier from Brussels, this is actually his third year coaching, and uh, he's already gotten a championship last season, so we'll see if he can make it back-to-back -back championships in his first three years. I know, that's going to be very impressive. Sydney Moore, number 33 for uh, Signal, has a little bit of a height advantage. We'll see if that comes into play in the tip off here. This is always a very tense moment for me before the game, waiting to see how that first play is going to unfold. Were you ever the one going for the tip off? Yes. Which is unfortunate, kind of, because that means my team was very short. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got both of the uh, Vasileva sisters are currently in there right now, both in the starting lineup. So we'll get to see them in action here, and uh, we'll see what kind of ball movement that team can, can muster. 
And speaking of the sisters, that's Anna Marie, number 15. Well, Signal wins the tip off. That's the first possession. All right, kicking the ball out to the wing, up to the high post. Good ball movement, rejected by number five. That was an excellent block by uh, Lisa Vitale. All right, we have number 10 bringing the ball down court. Looking to set up the offense. Kicks it to the high post. And our first turnover of the game. That was uh, Vasileva trying to get it into her sister there on the inside post. Didn't quite work that time, though. All right, they're doing the stack. All right, nice ball movement in. And we get the call. Well, quick early foul, not the way, way you want to start it, but. Well, this is uh, the championship, and you know, some nerves have to be worked out. Well, we'll see Vasileva at the line for the first time today. She's, of course, a senior, 5'8", and she and her sister are both from Skopje, Macedonia. At the line, number 15, Anna Vasileva. She gets her first one. Free throws are important, and they can actually win a game. Especially in a championship game like this, you got to hit every shot you can, and uh, free throws can make or break it for your team. She gets her own rebound. Looking to set up the offense. Out to number 10 up top. They're stacking the strong side. Oh, turnover. That's Sidney Moore with the, uh, the steal right there. Number 12 gets it. Number 33 gets the rebound and the call. Excellent work by Sydney Moore. She, you know, of course, got the steal and was down there on the other, other end for the offensive rebound to get the, uh, the foul. And that's Excellent hustle by her. That's Siganella, Sydney Moore. First team foul for the Brigands. She gets her first. Now, we mentioned earlier that uh, Siganella had a bit of a size advantage inside. Uh, Sydney Moore is one of two players for Siganella with a uh, at five, listed at five foot ten. All right, number fifteen, Vasileva gets the rebound. Number five bringing it down for the Brigands. Kicks it back out to number five. Number five cross court to number ten. Number ten takes the shot. Spot of three pointer just can't get it to fall. All right, rebound and it's all the way down court. Number twelve. Number 12 scores. Nice like pass from Katie Cobble. For the Jaguar. Earlier, she's the, uh, the freshman who is averaging 10 points a game. So, back to the Number 12 gets it back for the Jaguars. That's an excellent defensive play from uh, Katie Cobble. We talked to the coach earlier, like she said, and uh, she averages three steals and 10 points a game. She's already got, she's already got two steals here tonight. Well, and she has some speed out there. They're going to have to be careful. All right, we have the Jaguars with the ball. 15 takes a shot. Rebounded by number 10 from the Brigands. That's Alexandra DeFazio bringing the ball down. She sets the offense up. She's looking, she's looking. They have to do some movement. Travel called. Russell looks like they need to uh, maybe slow their offense down a little bit, work on some of the ball movement and uh, you know communicate a little better because they're having a hard time setting up their plays. So you know, All right, the good movement. ball movement, good ball movement, and a shot, rebound. Good effort. Cobble gets it, kicks it back out top to number 15 for the Jaguars. To the wing, kicks to the high post. Number 33, Sidney Moore takes the shot. Brigands get the rebound. Number five brings it down court. Will, will. Kicking it out to the wing. Number 10 takes the shot. Rebounded by number 20. She's not afraid to let that three-pointer go. Number 10 at the top of the key. Cross court pass. A little too much on it. That's uh, Alexander DeFazio with the uh, three-point attempt. She's, uh, she's been firing a couple of them from that exact spot. Maybe it's a little bit of a heat check. See if she can get that shot to fall. All right. We have the Jaguar setting up the offense, kicking it to the wing to number 12. Number 12 back to 10. 
We have 33s at the high post position waiting. She has two players on her. Number 12 fires. Rebound by the Brigands. Katie Kalmus was a lot of uh, a lot of confidence for a freshman. She's calling for the ball, looking for the shots, and uh, she's not afraid to let it go. We got Alexander. Oh, it's a turnover. Number 15 bringing it down for the Jaguars. She slows it up. And that's Chelsea Hinton. It's a good uh, good group, re group rebound by Brussels. They, uh, they don't ha necessarily have the size inside that, uh, that Siganella does, but they, they make up for it with numbers. All right, number 10 shoots and is rebounded by Sydney Moore to number 12. Number 12 takes the shot. That's Katie Cobble once again, man. Like we said, Katie Cobble seems to be the first person down on the end as <laughs> soon as that ball comes back. That makes this game five to one. Number 15 takes it to the hole for the Brigands. That's number 15, Anna Marie Vassilev. That's her first basket for the game and the first field goal for Brussels so far today. All right, number 15 taking the shot, rebounded by number 12. Jaguars have got some good ball movement going on. 12 fires. 12 gets the, oh, lets it go. Jaguars ball. I've seen a lot of three-point attempts so far in this game already. Uh, no one's got one to drop yet, but uh, you think it's a little bit early in the game to be firing off threes? Uh, maybe, but, you know, she could be trying to get herself uh, heated up, and uh, we have uh, Chloe, uh, number 32, coming in for number 15, Anna Marie Vassilev. Number five bringing it down for the Brigands. That's Elisa Maria Vitale. She kicks it back up to the top. Come on, Team Dora. Bring it. Oh, look, look, look. Bring it. Oh, uh oh, look. jump ball. That's some tenacious defense right there from Katie Cobble. The uh, coach for Siganella, Michelle Chandler, she was telling us that they play some scrappy defense, and uh, she certainly wasn't lying. <laughs> we have number 15 bringing it down for the Jaguars. Kicks it out to number 12. Oh, number 33 has it taken from her, but, oh, referee made the call. Going back to the Brigands. I'd like to see uh, Sydney Moore play a little bit more on the low post. She uh, definitely has, like you said, the height advantage. She can take advantage of that. Nice pass to the, oh, to the top. Too much on it. Number 10 couldn't get it for the Brigands, but it looks like the referee made a call that it was off the Jaguars. Yeah, get Sydney Moore, I think, knocked it out of bounds. Out to the top. Oh! Excellent Katie field. Cobble Katie gets Cobble. it. She's going straight to the basket. Nice crossover. Rebounded by number 15 and score. That's number 15 for the Jaguars. That's Chelsea Hinton. That was an excellent put back. You know, Katie Cobble made the steal, got down there from the layup. They couldn't quite get it to fall, but her teammates had her back. That's why you got, that's why you got to rush the net. Number 33, Sydney Moore called for traveling. The ball will be turned over to Brussels. That's her second travel call so far. Number 10 setting up her offense. Fazio calling out instructions that she's in trouble. Travel. Well, when you play the high pressure defense like that, you either got to force them to pass it right away or make those simple mistakes. And those who are just joining us right now, we've got Signella 7, Brussels 3. It is the Division 3 Girls Championship game. We have 10 for the Jaguars. That's Haley Gaspar. She fires. Rebounded. Rebound to the other Vasileva sister, that's Teodoro. We have number 10 for Brussels. DeFazio passes it to number 15. Number 15 hits! That's Vasileva's second basket in the game, and she's got five of the, uh, the Brigands, four, uh, four of the Brigands, five points. All right. Oh, we got Sydney Moore at the top. She fires. Referee makes the call. Jaguars get the ball back. 
Number 12 fires and hits. There's a three. There's right a three right there. That's the shot that Katie Cobble was looking for this whole game, and she's got him to fall. That's our freshman with Siganella. We've got Siganella 10, Brussels 5. Oh, at the top, number 15 fires. Sydney Moore got the rebound, couldn't hold on to it. So now that we've seen uh, Katie Cobble hit that shot that she's been looking for, do you think uh, she's getting more confidence? It looks like it. Um, she is playing beyond her years right now. She seems to have a good grasp of the floor, and she knows the positions and the strengths of her team, which is pretty impressive for a freshman. Absolutely. That's, that's the kind of leadership you like to see out of a senior. So Siganella looking pretty good so far here today. They're already uh, up 10 to 5, and you'd like to think that uh, that kind of experience from a freshman may have a good team for a couple years to come. We have both coaches giving their players a pep talk. This is a 5-10 game. Still early. We have Siganella 10, Brussels 5. Now, if you're just joining us, we are airing on AFNEurope.net, and we're also on the Pentagon channel, so make sure you guys check us out. We'll be airing games all day today. That was Vasileva right there with the putback, number 21, that's Teodora. And uh, the two sisters have pretty much accounted for all of the points in this 10-7 uh, to 7 game. We have number 10 taking it to number 15, rebounded by number 21 Tough from the Brigands. Vasileva. She cleared the area, which is very good. Number five is bringing it down for Brussels. She's looking for, uh, looking for a cutter. Hits number 10. Number 10 to number 15. Oh! The call is made. So the backcourt of DeFazio and Vitali seem to have Fouls called on Sydney Moore, number 33, for the Jaguars. She sits down, and number 24 comes off the bench. I was just saying, the, uh, the backcourt of DeFazio and Vitali seem to have some good ball movement between the two of them. If they can find a way to, uh, to get that ball inside a little bit more often to the Vitali. Uh, to the uh, Vasileva sisters. All right, number 10 comes in to help out. She fires. Hits the side of the backboard. Brussels gets the rebound again. They give it back to her. She fires. Siganella is going to have to get in there and get a rebound. Well, they're definitely fighting. They get it. There. Number 12 pushing down court. She slows up to set up her offense. She kicks it to number 15 at the top. Number 15 fires. 12 gets the rebound. 15. Back to 15. Some great ball movement, very quick. Number 12 gets it to 15, 15 to 10. Back to 15, 15 fires for the Jaguars. Rebounded by Brussels. Well, the number of offensive rebounds in a row that uh, Siganella was able to pull down, but they don't seem like they have got the, uh, the size advantage like we thought they might just looking on paper. The, uh, the Vasileva sisters seem to be pretty tough on the inside. Right now, she's at the top, passing to number five. She's going back to the high post. Passing it to the strong side. Coach is yelling for them to take a shot as time runs out. That's the end of the first quarter. Right now, we've got Siganella 10, Brussels 7. This has been, this has been a great first quarter. Yeah, it's a lot of good ball movement, some, some tough defense from both teams. I've, uh, I've been very impressed with that. You know, both coaches told us they play some tenacious defense, and, uh, and we've definitely seen that from, uh, from both sides. Uh, we've seen the Vasileva sisters both playing pretty well, accounting for uh, six of the first seven points. And then, of course, uh, Katie Cobble has had a pretty large impact so far. She has, and she's had help from uh, Sydney Moore um, on the uh, baseline, but right now, we're going to go out to... Uh, We're going to cut to Sergeant Abby Waldrop. She's got an interview right now. Hi, thanks, guys. I'm here with Mrs. Sarah Helbling, whose daughter is actually number 20, uh, Lola. So talk to me about how the girls have done this year. Really hard, and um, it's been impressive to see them really improve. We lost most of our team last year, so a lot of the girls on the court are new this year. Now, I understand the school, uh, the, Brus the Brussels school, is pretty small. So has it given them a, the opportunity to try out for more athletics? It is. It gives them a great opportunity to try anything that they're interested in trying. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, and good luck to the team, and back to you guys. 
get back to the action here and uh, we saw a quick possession for uh, Brussels work. He may be able to get anything out of it. The freshman for the Jaguars scores again, number 12. Katie Cobble with a quick transition basket. Showing that, uh, that speed that we were talking about earlier. And if you look at the uh, tempo now, you see that the Jaguars have pressed and caused a turnover. They get the ball back. Oh, but it's taken by number 10 from Brussels, DeFazio. She is looking to keep her team in this. Well, it's a, it's a risky pass she threw right there, and uh, unfortunately she paid the price for it. DeFazio has the ball. Looking for her team. She passes down. She's number 15, number 15 to the low post. Rebounded by number 24 for the Jaguars. That's Kaziah Chandler, another one of the freshmen on our team. She passes across too much on the pass. But number 10 touches it last for Brussels. Yeah, she probably wish she had that one back. She could have let that go. <laughs> All right. You see the Jaguars stacking. Number 24 takes the shot and it's rebounded by number 10 from Brussels. DeFazio bringing the ball down. That's Chelsea hit, hit, playing defense right there. And uh, have to see if they can uh, set up the pressure a little bit. Hinton with the rebound. Number 10 for the Jaguars bringing it down court. Haley Gaspar. She's looking. She decides to penetrate a little. Number 12 fires. Rebounded by Brussels. That's Katie Cobble from that. That sweet spot she likes in the three-pointer. She got the fall early and see if she can get a drop again. And then number 10 for Brussels at the top of the key. She passes it to the high post as a struggle. She decides to penetrate and shoot. And she gets the call. Well, it's Anna Vasileva, of course. She's responsible for uh, four points already here. Four out of uh, Brussels, seven points. Right now we've got Siganella 12, Brussels 7. That foul was called on number 24 for the Jaguars. Kasaya Chandler. She misses her first. That's number 15 at the line for Brussels. Anna Maria Vasileva. She misses her second. You got to get those free throws to fall, especially in a big game like this. Jaguars bringing it down, no pressure. Number 12 to 10. 10 looking for some help. Out to 12. Signal, oh. Signal showing some excellent perimeter ball movement. 12 takes the shot. Off the backboard, rebounded by number five for Brussels. Tenacious defense there once again. Turnover and to 12. 12 is up for the Jaguars and she scores again. Katie Cobble is just lighting it up here. She's the first person down at the end of the basket both times and she's playing tough defense on the other, on the other side. And the Jaguars are now pressing. Another turnover. Number 12 gets the ball. She was looking for some help. Turnover. Both teams might have to slow down a little bit because their passes are becoming a little bit erratic. Our score, Siganella 14, Brussels 7. Another turnover. Number 14 pushing the ball down court for the Jaguars. Knocked out of bounds by number 10 for Brussels. That was a good steal by Aiden Adriano. She's a sophomore out of San Diego, California. She stepped in a little, a little while ago, trying to get the ball over to Katie Cobble. Just couldn't quite connect with it. Kirsten Carson's number 41 is coming in, replacing Vasileva as she gets a break. And it looks like the Jaguars will be getting some free throws out of this. Okay. Technical foul. We have number 12, who's been responsible for most of the offense for the Jaguars taking the shots. She misses the first. The coach for 
the Brigands, talking to them, establishing a game plan as we wait on number 12 for the Jaguars to take our second shot. As you get the second one to Paul, we've got Siganella 15, Brussels 7 right now in the second quarter. Jaguars still in possession. Number 15 calling the offense. Number 10 at the top takes the shot. Number 15 for the Jaguars gets the rebound, kicks it back out to the top. Number 10 taking another shot. Number 15 rebounds again. Number 12 to 10. 10 to shoot again, and she gets the bank. And she gets that one to fall. That was good, uh, good team effort right there, getting on the rebounds and uh, staying with the ball. Number five for Brussels, kicking it to number 10. Number 10 with Brussels penetrating, takes the shot, and she scores. A couple quick baskets there, that was Haley Gaspora. Number 15 for the Jaguars bringing it down. She's calling the offense, passes it to the weak side. Number 12 to 10, 10 to 12. 14 takes the shot in the corner, rebounded by 21 for Brussels. Vasileva. I see a lot of small ball play from Siganella right now. They're, uh, they're playing four, four girls out on the perimeter and uh, no one really inside the rebound. Number five to 41 with Brussels. Number 10 from Brussels, she's in trouble. She kicks it out. Looking to move the ball, looking to move the ball. Number 10 kicks it out to 41 to the high post. Kicks it out to the wing, back to the top of the key. Good ball movement, looking for the shot. Rebounded by number 14 with the Jaguars. Number 12 for the Jaguars, she goes. She loses it. Brussels gets the ball back. Well, we're seeing, like we saw, like we saw before, a lot of good transition from Siganella. First one's down the court and uh, getting it down there quick. Brussels bringing it down, number five, no pressure. Yeah. Number 10 takes it. She fires the shot. Rebounded by number 15 with the Jaguars. She pushes it down court. That's Chelsea Hinton. She literally just ripped the ball out of her hands. <laughs> Who wanted it more? Chelsea's calling the offense. Passes it to number 10 with the Jaguars. Number 12 back to 10. 10 does a spin. Passes to 15. 15 fires. Rebounded by number 14. Now, Brussels gets the ball as a result of the hustle from number 20. That's Laura Helbing, and yeah, that was a good rebound by her. She went up for it and uh, came down with it. We have number 10 from Brussels passing it out to number 41. The Jaguars are playing some pressure D. That was an excellent save right there by number 41. Brussels with the timeout. We got two subs coming in. Looks like uh, Anna Maria Vasileva will be stepping in after a brief huddle with the coach. We're going to cut to a uh, commercial break right now. It's currently Siganella 17, Brussels 9. Get ready for the second annual Grab Your Rugged Terrain Obstacle Run, where you'll put your strength and camaraderie to the test this spring. Not only will you run 13 kilometers of cross-country terrain, but you'll climb, jump, and crawl your way through 13 hardcore obstacles along the way. The run is open to all USIB card holders 18 years of age or older. That's the Breath Bear Rugged Terrain Obstacle Run, April 12th, starting at the Tower Barracks Physical Fitness Center. Deadline for registration is March 3rd, so don't wait. Are you tough enough? We're back at the 2014 the Dodds Europe Europe Tournament of obstacle. Champions. Gameplay is... Kicks it down to five. Five to the inside to 15. 15 is rejected by 14 from the Jaguars. Yeah, she managed to save it, though. Excellent effort. Back to the low post again to 15. 15, looking for that bank shot. But we get number 21 going up for it and drawing the foul. That's some excellent interior defense right there that we saw. Uh, excellent job of offensive rebounding by both of the Vasileva sisters. That's uh, Teodora that will be taking the free throws here, but uh, excellent effort from her.
Teodora has an opportunity to put some points on the board for Brussels. She misses both, but her sister gets the rebound and another call. That's the tenacious offensive rebounding and uh, will get you to the line. Just got to make sure you get the baskets from there. This is uh, Anna Marie of the Vasileva sisters about to take her first shot. And both are seniors and from Skopje, Macedonia. She gets her first one, bringing Brussels to double digits. She misses her second one. I'm gonna jump ball call again. Jaguars get the ball. Curly Siganola 17, Brussels 10 here at the Dodds Division III Girls Championship game. Passing it down, passing it back. Number 10 out top for the Jaguars. And she called for it. She took the extra step. Yeah, she, she wanted to make that pass, just didn't commit to it, and uh, that'll get you a travel. Yep. All right. The coach from Brussels is calling out to his players, telling them that they need to run the offense. Down to the low post, 15 out to 5, 5 to 10 for Brussels. To the high post at number 15. 10 takes the shot and gets it. That is number 10 from Brussels, DeFazio taking the shot. That was a nice open look and uh, she took advantage of it. Number 15 bringing it down for the Jaguars. She's looking, making sure her offense is set up. Number 12 kicks it to 10. 10 kicks it to 14. 14 takes the three. Rebounded. Yeah, just a little bit By short. Brussels. DeFazio brings the ball down for Brussels. She's looking. Jaguars are turning up the defense. Number five has it. She kicks it down. Oh, number 14 from Jaguars takes it to, kicks it to 12. 12 all the way. She decides to kick it back out. 14 takes the shot. Rebounded by 21 from Brussels. Well, not, neither team is afraid to make that, uh, that open shot if they've got it from the outside. Just 15 gets, gets it. Coach yelling out instructions, telling him to swing it, and number five takes the shot. Number 10 gets the rebound. DeFazio sets up the offense. Kicks it to number five. Number five to the middle. Finds one of the sisters. She takes the shot, and it's rebounded by number 12. She's pushing the Jaguars offense down the court. She gets called for the travel. We saw some good ball movement right there from, uh, from Brussels. Getting Open look on the inside, just couldn't get it to fall. And uh, Katie Cobble once again with a quick transition. Out of bounds, Jaguars ball. That was good awareness by Haley Gaspora right there. She uh, almost came away with the steal, but uh, was able to force him to knock it off for a turnover. Got a timeout. Oh, we got halftime. So the current score right now sits at Sigonella 17, Brussels 12. It's halftime here at the Dodds Division III Girls Championship game. And I guess the coach didn't have to waste that time out after all, huh? <laughs> nope, might as well save it. <laughs> here with, with you, you've got Sergeant John Archiquette and sitting with me. I am Sergeant Marlon Stiles enjoying this Division III action. And we're about to go to a commercial. Once again, Sigonella 17, Brussels 12. <laughs> 